Hello! In this tutorial I want to show you the alpha blending. Alpha blending is pretty mi uh, much mean that we have a transparent or um, semi-transparent or some kind of transparency uh, between two layers. To demonstrate it I opened up GIMP and mm, so whenever we open menu we just draw a black uh, so in the previous tutorial, whenever we open the menu, we just draw a black rectangle over it, as you can see right here. Although we could do that and probably it would m uh, give a much more professional feeling for our program, if we don't make it completely black, we will make some transparency level. So, like here. So it will just make the background a little bit... Uh, uh, darker but we could see the actual state of the game as well so it will not be as e like that okay so this is the completely opaque uh, layer so we can see through if we set it to 50 percent approximately this is 50 percent then we can see through half and if we set it to zero percent we cannot even see it and that exactly what alpha blending is in SDL okay and actually I will show you a new function because we have to create a new layer which just contains this back, uh, black background okay so we don't have we will not uh, uh, fill direct to the screen we fill direct to a new uh, SDL surface so create a new SDL surface SDL surface call it alpha okay uh, by the way this uh, effect can be used a lot of places not just menus you can use it for I don't know ghosts or you can use it for intros and a lot of other pl uh, usage of the uh, and it has a lot of other usage and um, mm, uh, it is a little slow in SDL because it is not hardware accelerated except the 128 value uh, I will show you okay so we create an alpha but this is actually just a pointer to a surface it is not actually a surface so we have to create a new surface to create a new surface we use a function called SDL create RGB surface okay I haven't shown you this function it has a few parameter but we just copy the parameter from the actual screen and we make a new surface so actually we just uh, create a surface uh, uh, with the same parameters as the screen so we just clone that surface so SDL create uh, RGB surface like that okay it has a few parameters as I said the first parameter is uh, the flag how do we want to make it this flag is similar than we uh, used in case of uh, normal uh, surface creation so the set video mode this will be SDL SV surface so it will be a software surface and uh, the next thing is the width and the height of the surface so this will be screen width and screen height by the way this screen width and screen height is same that clip uh, that screen clip rag dot v and clean clip rag dot h so that's it we get the uh, width and the height so we just set it the, the next parameters are the masks uh, no the next parameter uh, is the, the bit per pixel this is the same that we used in the case of SDL set video mode so we use 32 bit per pixel and the next parameters are the masks uh, I've not talked about this mask and you don't really have to know this mask uh, to use SDL so I will not uh, uh, tell it again uh, so I will not uh, uh, tell you about this mask if you are really interested about this mask you can search on it okay the masks are in the pixel format so SDL pixel format and the SDL pixel format is the screen format so screen format and in here uh, there are masks like air mask this is stands for red masks a uh, red mask so 
how we can store the mask pretty much that's what it means okay and we need the green uh, blue and alpha mask so green and then the next one is blue and the next one is alpha so yeah I really don't know all of these parameters as well actually I have opened in here another editor and I see the parameters from right there because uh, you don't really have to know these parameters just you know if you uh, want to create a surface and you don't know the parameters just type the Google and you will find all of the parameters okay and we need a uh, last uh, R so R G O B and this will be the alpha mask okay and the last parameter no actually that was the last parameter the alpha mask so uh, that's it we just created a surface as RGB surface okay so it's pretty much uh, the load BMP and other functions that we used earlier will automatically do that for me and usually we don't create surfaces it's a very rare situation but for now we will just create a surface okay and we fill this entire surface with the color black so right alpha so we just created the entire surface with the color black uh, okay we can use the alpha format or the screen format it doesn't really matter because the format is the same because we just copy all of the format the formatting from the screen to the create RGB surface so we just created a, co a clone about uh, the screen except it is uh, except the image is not in this okay and then we just fill this alpha layer with the color black and now the function comes in with which actually does the alpha blending so that's what you should learn so the SDL set alpha this is just as simple as that okay and in here the first of all you uh, uh, give what surface do you want to give this alpha value okay we want to give it to the alpha surface we just created the second parameter is uh, how do you want to add I always use the SDL S or C alpha I don't know what other parameters there are but this is perfect for us because it sets the alpha this is similar than set color key we have to give the SDL S or C color key but I don't know the other parameters because I always use that but to tell the truth I don't uh, use the alpha too much okay and then you just uh, give w uh, what alpha do you want uh, uh, 255 is the maximum alpha value this means it is completely opaque you so ca you cannot see through it zero is the minimum alpha value it means that you complete it is completely transparent so you can completely see it through okay and that was all we have to do now just bleed this back surface to the uh, screen and we are ready so fdl bleed surface and we bleed the alpha the entire alpha to the screen at zero zero coordinate so now if we just uh, compile the program uh, oh one more thing we have to free this alpha uh, alpha layer alpha surface because we don't any need it anymore so SDL free surface alpha like that surface okay now we can compile the program probably and run the program in here you cannot see any difference because the originally the background is black so if you uh, never mind how much alpha value you give to a black background and a black foreground it will be black but now if I stop it it gives a very weird effect okay I don't really know why but I have a uh, guess okay as I said 128 is a spatial value it is hardware accelerated uh, other values are softwarely emulated so it is much lower so 
that the value from 128 from 129 which is not software accelerated which is not hardware accelerated it is a software clip uh, created so and right now okay and you can see that's what we wanted to see the background is make a little bit uh, uh, darker but it doesn't disappear so it gives a much professional effect for our game although it is just a few line of code uh, but it does actually you can use this uh, SDL alpha to any surface you want for example if you will load an image with SDL load BMP to this alpha surface and uh, you can use this as a background for example I created a picture actually this is a picture of enterprise uh, and I just load it uh, instead of this l very long command so I just use the SDL load BMP which will actually create the layer for us so we don't have to care about that and it is called end.bmp and nothing else has to be changed it will be a set an alpha oh one oh, last thing we have to delete this fill with black because you know we fill it black so we can't see anything now we can compile the program and run it and as you can see we already see the background image like that so it is very good for uh, images and if I continue and stop now as you can see we can see both images so the background image and actually this other background image it is composed together with the alpha actually if you are if you want you can put more things not just one um, let me think uh, okay I think that's all we, ne uh, we I wanted to show you so how you can set an alpha so for example uh, so first make a layer which will be the alpha it is obvious step and then use the SDL set alpha with the layer you want to set the alpha the SDL SRC alpha and the number which one do you want to set actually it is very funny that the hardware acceleration not work it's I don't know why it's not working but it's not working it's okay maybe someone else know and comment about that why don't the hardware acceleration work okay and just bleed the surface as you would normally do so actually the only thing you have to remember is you use the SDL set alpha function to set a layer to alpha so for example if you set an alpha to the ball uh, which we used in the pong game then you would uh, then you would have a semi-transparent uh, ball and actually it would be uh, half transparent and half not so that would be another usage or ghost or game intros or a lot of things you can do alpha so i just wanted to show you Thank you for watching and have a great day.